Hey everybody, it's me, Elric Ferris, here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you guys something really cool. What is that? Well, today I'm gonna to bring you guys this new unit called an AIO. It's called an All-in-Wonder Unit. The particular one I'm looking at today is the MyTech Maestro 650. Comes decked out, has an i5-2405S CPU, eight gigabytes of RAM, a 75 gigabyte SSD, a one terabyte Western Digital hard drive, complete touch panel IPS technology screen, a, again, it's got a mic in the front, a camera, all kinds of connectivity, HDMI. This thing's just fully decked out. Now, what is the whole theory behind All in Wonder? It's basically for people out there who don't want to mess around with their computers at all. You go out, you can walk into a place, have this thing custom configured to your own video card, your own sound, to whatever you want inside of it. It's a very open architecture little thing. The unit I have here behind me, this is the Maestro 650. It comes configured as it is, but if you were going to buy this, you'll actually be able to walk into the future into places and actually custom configure the system to whatever you want. Now, for big houses out there who are looking to integrate these products, this is good for you as well. Why? Because this thing is basically, even though it's black, it's a white box item. You can have this thing totally custom made for you, have your name on it, your plastic on it, making it look like it's your product. Let me just give you an example. Say that me and Shane the cameraman here, we decide tomorrow that we want to make a company. And our company is gonna be called Dragon 5. So tomorrow, we can call up and have the Dragon 5 computer totally made for us. So when we get our computer, it'll say Dragon 5, configured how we want it to bring it to you, the end user. That all said, I know it all sounds good on paper, but now let's actually jump over and let's take a look at this new Maestro 650 and see why it actually is really cool for a $1,000 price point. All right, so let's check out the unit itself. We can see we've got a 21.5 IPS panel, fully touchscreen operated. One thing I want you guys to take note of, the Windows Experience rating was 5.8 overall. We can see that it's got the Intel Core i5 2405S CPU running at 2.5 gigahertz. System comes with eight gigabytes of internal memory, and we're running on this system, we're running Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. I just wanna click in here and let you guys see something too about the Windows Experience. You guys can see the primary hard disk was an SSD. It's actually a 75 gigabyte SSD. It's getting 7.7. The actual lowest score that we're getting on here is the graphics, which is 5.8, because this particular system is using the Intel embedded graphics that come with it. That's the 2000 graphics. But everything else on here you can see, 7.3, 7.5, 6.2 on gaming graphics, and 7.7 .7 on the primary. Now, even a 6.2 though on the graphics, is actually pretty good. I'm actually gonna put some games on here later and see how the thing works. One thing I just absolutely have to stress when talking about Intel's new AIO series is the monitor. This is a 21.5 inch IPS technology monitor and this type of monitor can usually only be found on high-end things such as a Mac Cinema display or a really Dell high-end. And this one takes it a step further because it has touchscreen technology. What that means is you can just go right to the computer, just click something with your finger, you're automatically into it. It's really cool, you wanna watch TV or anything, you just click and scroll through, you wanna go out, you just touch it. Let's check out Angry Birds. A lot of people like this game. And one thing that's really cool is say that you've got a child and the child just wants to play directly with the computer. With this, they don't even have to use the mouse. They just come over here, hit ply, hit the poach eggs, go over here, get the click, go over here, come on over, and start playing. Really interesting. Stretch it out. But everything by touch. I mean, just think about this. If you had a kid and you didn't want to mess around with it, he can just touch this. And this monitor is totally developed so that your oil from your skin and stuff doesn't ruin it. There's actually really good technology behind this monitor. I'm really stoked with it. One last thing I just want to go with you folks is all the connections. On the side here, you have lots of connections to use. You have a DVI port, you've got HDMI, you've got external eSATA, you've got all that stuff right here, USB 3.0, you've got a card reader right here, you've got a screen dimmer switch and everything right here where you can dim and select the screen. There's a lot of connections on this thing. Being that it's a mini ITX motherboard, it's actually running really cool. Even on my Mac, whenever I touch the sides or anything on my Mac, it's running really hot. This system is running totally cool. That's just one thing I wanna to talk to you guys. It's running really cool. So what you guys get? 
Basically, you get a system that costs $1,000. It has everything in it. It has an IPS, 21.5 touch panel screen. That's really incredible. You get the i5, 2505S. That's a process, a lot of built-in functionality to it. You get one of the mini ITX motherboards. I'm not sure the exact one that's inside of this one. I tried looking up the model number, but I couldn't find it. Um, I'll see if I can find it and put it in the details. But just overall, $1,000, everything all in one, geared for media, geared for going on the internet, geared for children. Any child can sit and type things in here. If you can actually connect a microphone to this as unit as well, I haven't got that far because I just wanted you guys to see it, but you can actually hook a microphone up and talk. So I could go onto Google right here with my finger touch and then I could say onto the computer, search for computer hardware and it'll actually go and search on the internet like that. So it's not only hand touch, it's actually can be voice operated. I just haven't got that far. All right guys, so today I brought you guys basically a first look at Intel's new AIO line. This is the Maestro 650. It's coming to market at about $1,000, and as you guys have seen, it has a lot of, lot of features. I'd like to hear from you guys out there what you guys think about this, because you guys all know that like iMacs are like very, very popular, and all-in-one PCs have really never taken off. This isn't the first time this has been tried, but here's something that's a little bit different about this than other boxes that you've been seeing integration, upgradability. With this unit, you will actually be able to upgrade. It's limited, but you can upgrade to a new video card module, more memory, or a different hard drive in the future if you wanted to. It's allowable. Those are gonna be some of the perks about buying an all-in-one system. Traditionally in the past, if you bought something, that's how it was, you were stuck with it, end of the line. With this, yeah, I mean the 21.5 inch monitor, you're not gonna be able to change that out, but some of the stuff in the background, you will be changing out. So I think this is actually one of the coolest little all-in-one PCs I've ever seen. Thousand bucks, runs totally cool, is either voice or hand operated, has an SSD inside of it, awesome transfer rates. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this unit. Hats off to Intel and thank you guys for watching the unboxing and first look of the Maestro 650.